candidates almost always face an uphill battle in midterm elections. It's difficult to mobilize voters without the enthusiasm genera generated by a presidential race. And this year, the Massachusetts GOP conceded a number of contests before they even started. Of the state's nine democratically held congressional seats, Republicans are challenging the incumbents in just three. That includes the 6th District, where Congressman John Tierney faces the prospect of a rematch against Republican Richard Tissay, but only if he can fend off four Democratic primary opponents. We're inviting all the candidates in the 6th District to join us on Greater Boston. One of them joins me tonight. John Devine is a Harvard grad who's currently enrolled in a graduate program at UMass Dartmouth. He's also worked as a house painter and taxi driver. John, welcome to Greater Boston. Thank you for having me. Let me ask you at the outset about your somewhat unusual biography. Uh, my hunch is there aren't a lot of Harvard College graduates who go on to work as house painters and carpenters and auto mechanics and then uh -huh. to run for Congress. Uh -huh. uh, how did you end up taking this path? Well, you know, uh, I was actually working as an auto mechanic while I was in school. Um, it was a circumstance where I was going to school part-time and uh, need to have a job, uh -huh. need to do some working. And my father actually owns a taxi cab business. Um, so I did a little driving uh, for his company when I was in college and then uh, when uh, I was between jobs outside of uh, college once I got my degree worked as a cab driver again All right. uh, uh, what else have you done that we should be highlighting here I've already thrown out a few of them but well I worked had a number a, of interesting jobs I worked as a paralegal for the better part of uh, eight years in uh, corporate firms um, worked on civil litigation for uh, Thiel Mar and Johnson and Bridges it's a firm that later changed its name uh, and went under during the downturn was a Thielen Priest and Reed for a while, and worked for uh, Sedgwick, Getter, Moore, and Arnold for about three years. Those names sound impressive. They're also, I confess, unfamiliar to me, but so oh, paralegal sure. work as well. Yeah, okay. paralegal work. Why did you decide to make your inaugural run for office a run for Congress? You mentioned uh, before we started this segment that your father was urging you to run for a state-level position, so mm -hmm. why go federal? Well, uh, I realized that um, my first run, I don't have a lot of name recognition. It, make, it might make more and more sense to run for um, an office that's not so high profile. Um, you live in the, Rockport, right? So you could No, run. actually, I live in oh, Woodward. Apologies, that's right. Ties Woodward. to Rockport. Ties to Rockport. Grandparents have had a house there uh, since 1944. Uh, family still maintains the home. Um, but uh, truth is, uh, all the issues that I'm most concerned about uh, can only be corrected at the federal level. And uh, that's one of the main reasons I'm, I'm running for Congress. Okay. Um, I also want to keep the 6th District blue. And I think uh, speaking to the issues, um, uh, the environment, inequity, uh, privacy, and uh, uh, need for mental health care, uh, I can keep the seat in so the Democrats' do you, hands. Do you believe that the incumbent John Tierney is not speaking to those issues sufficiently? Well, you know, um, John Tierney, um, in the last 16 years that he's been in the House, he's, he's not really passed a lot of bills. Um, He's not really sponsored a lot of bills that have gotten a lot of uh, things moving in Congress, and I, I think I can help change. That's a similar criticism that, uh, to the one that one of your rivals, Seth Moulton, makes mm -hmm. of Congressman Tierney. Mm -hmm. Let's take him just for a moment. Why, for voters in the district, would you be a superior choice to Seth Moulton? I have some different ideas than Mr. Moulton. Um, I want to build a national aqueduct that will help address uh, climate change, uh, mitigation, help get us away from burning fossil fuels. I want to tie a national aqueduct into um, hydroelectric power plants. We don't have a ton of time left, but explain to me, what would a national aqueduct be exactly? What would that look like and how would it work? Well, you'd, you'd move water from one part of the country to the other. You'd relieve uh, pressure on the Ogallala Aquifer and on the western uh, watershed, the western rivers. And uh, in doing so, uh, the water is always flowing. So uh, you could build hydroelectric power plants across the country tied into this aqueduct. Building the power plants uh, will help pay for the aqueduct. It will create jobs and uh, get us away from burning fossil fuels. Okay, so we got a massive, very ambitious public works proposal. Give me one or two other reasons, uh, to the extent that you can be brief, because we are running out of time, but what are a couple other things that set you apart from the other Dems? Uh, I think it's time for a national mental health care policy. Uh, the Center for Disease Control reports that 60 percent of handgun violence in this country is suicide. That, to me, speaks to a mental health concern. You also see these mass shootings on the news. That's bad news. Um, people with mental health issues, um, they, they shouldn't be able to get their hands on a gun. How would you keep that from happening? 
Well, uh, you can screen for mental health uh, issues. Uh, the American Psychiatric Association has called for genetic screening and biological testing uh, that will help uh, in preventative uh, medicine and it help in prison reform. I hate to tell you, I have to cut you off there. Please put this stuff online if it sure isn't already thing. so that voters can take a closer look. John Understood. Devine, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank Good you luck very much. to you.